Hey everyone, happy holidays. Welcome to my channel. I am going to share with you probably one of my favorite videos to do around Christmas time is everything that I got my kids for Christmas. This is always just a fun thing to do as a parent. I feel like once you become a parent, the holidays take on this completely different magical thing that I never even knew my mom did. I'm sure my dad did some of it too, but I think it was mostly my mom and our side of our family. So we have lots of traditions, obviously things like the tree and the stockings and decorations and cookies and parties and all that fun stuff. And then there are presents for kiddos. So I did an app this year and it doesn't have a name. I'll show a picture up here. I did an app the first year Paul was born to try to kind of organize things because it can get very chaotic. And then I did a, I did an app this year and it was kind of to keep track of presents because what I do is I do pretty much 99% of my Christmas shopping on Black Friday or Thanksgiving weekend. The deals are really good. And then I kind of just do it all at once. So like right now, I don't have any presents. Sometimes I buy things here or there for stockings, stocking stuffers, but for the most part, I'm done. And then I went, I think it was the last day in November, I went to Target by myself, it was such a treat. And I got all the stocking stuffers stuff because they're pretty much out and not ransacked yet. So pretty much when December comes, I have everything purchased. I may not have received it, but I have everything purchased and ready to go. So then when it comes to December, I start doubting myself and I'm like, do I have enough gifts? What did I get Matt? What did I get Paul? Did I get this for Tilly? I remember Tilly wanted this or Paul wanted this. Did I get them? So sometimes the apps are super duper helpful. This one in particular, you can share with somebody. I did not share it with Matt, my husband, because I have his stuff on here. So I could see how much we were doing. And I always feel like Matt always outbuys me. We've set present number limits on each other. We've set dollar amount limits. And I feel like he always gets me more stuff than I get him. So I think I did good with Matt this year, but you can share it with each other and I didn't. And there's little icons for each item that you can put a thought, purchased, arrived, wrapped. I think those are the four options. Yeah, idea, purchased, arrived, wrapped. You can put a URL, you can put notes, and you can put the dollar amount. I did do the dollar amount so I could see roughly how much I was spending on each child. I also included Mo on here. So I can see pretty much for our family how much I spent on everybody for Christmas. And it gives me a total spent of, I mean, it's a lot of money, but I feel like on the scale, I could have done worse. I spent $1,147.83 on two kids, my husband and my dog. So what I was really looking at is my kids, the numbers. So I have 10 presents for each one of my kids, which I feel like is a lot. I try to tone it down every year. I just, I am the Christmas gift giver. I love giving gifts to my kiddos. The dollar amount is roughly the same, $300, $304 for Paul and $266 for Tilly. I think Matt was my big one, yes. I spent $384 on Matt because three of his items were $50 or more. But the kiddos did have, oh, and Mo was a lot this year, $194, because Mo's bed is from Land's End. I love it. He's had it for about six years now, and he, like, it's gross. It needs to be replaced, and it's not cheap. It's one of those things where $178 for a dog bed is kind of crazy, but at the same point, it's one of those you're paying for quality, and it lasts a very yeah. long time. Like the Costco beds were like six months and they were going in the garbage. So we spent a lot of money on that. He got, he got pampered this Christmas. But the kids, we have two large gifts that I know they'll like. Paul is gonna be so excited about this one. I can't show it to you because it's downstairs. Both of them are downstairs in a box. Matt has to build them. This is what we're going to be doing on Christmas Eve. Paul got this up here, the Amazon train table. He found this in the Amazon toy book whenever that came out in the early fall and he was just obsessed with it. He was just, he's just been talking about it nonstop. He put it in his letter to Santa. He's been telling people, I asked Santa for this train table. So he is very excited about this one. I did scope out other train tables like the Melissa and Doug and this is, the, this is actually by Amazon, it's, is it Amazon V6? I'm not sure, but it was out of stock for a while and I was kind of like, oh, we're gonna have to look at something else. But then it went back in stock. I'm like, they have to have it in stock. It was in their toy catalog. But it's a smaller footprint and it comes with tracks and toys. A lot of the train tables didn't do that. So we got him, there's not, the only thing is there's not a lot of storage. It, I think it literally comes with a basket that just comes with it. It doesn't attach, like the Melissa and Doug had a drawer 
things like that. So he's going to be super excited about that. The intent is to put it in his bedroom later on, but we're going to build it and put it under the tree. I haven't decided if I'm actually going to wrap it or at Target, I did get like a big bow. I got two bows, one for Paul and one for Tilly because they go both got big things. So I don't have that, but the, tr the Amazon train table was $150. And then Tilly's big present is a dollhouse, which I'm so excited. I think she's going to absolutely love it. This dollhouse is up here and it was $119. And it was by Hape. I had to look, the dolls are back there, H-A-P-E. I hadn't heard of this brand. I actually was looking at the Melissa and Doug dollhouse. It's like a, it's meant for little kids. It's a little kid dollhouse. Very like open concept friendly. All of the pieces are bigger. They're not choking hazards. And this one kept coming up as people said they liked it more. So I was like, Ugh. I looked at the reviews and I decided to go to this one. I am a Melissa and Doug freak. I absolutely love their wooden toys. And I think they do a phenomenal job and they're decently priced. But we went with this Hape, Happy, H-A-P-E dollhouse. I don't have that either because we we're going to build that on Christmas Eve and put it under the tree. Again, I haven't decided. I probably will end up wrapping them or loosely covering them with wrapping paper for the kids to tear into. But let me swing you around and show you everything else I got. Well, let me show you Mo while I'm here. So I have his bed. I think that's in the basement. I don't think I have to assemble it. Maybe I just have to put, there's like um, a bumper in the bed and just stuffing in there. So we'll put that out. I'm not going to wrap that. He can deal with it. I got bark, or actually what I did get is he got a new collar. So I have a collar for Mo. I got this at Costco. I think I did this in one of my house, Costco hauls. Maybe I didn't. This is the Costco Kong play pack. And there are one, two, three, four, five toys in here. So that is for Mo. And BarkBox did a deal. That's where I got his advent calendar. So I just got him this little dude. And this was from Target, one of these wonder things. Mo does have a stocking. So I probably will put this in his stocking, this in his stocking, this in his stocking, his collar. And then this was from BarkBox. It's a candy cane cookie. And it's just one little cookie and a little thing, so that will go in Mosley's stocking. And the other thing we do, it's so funny, we're so far behind because everybody was sick from thanks. The first two weeks of December, everybody was sick. We had some kind of cough going through the house, wonderful. But we do the Lego Christmas Village, that's like our tradition. So I bought this as soon as I saw it come out, the end of October, something like that. So this is this year's Lego Village Alpine Lodge. So this, what I'm going to do is wrap this and on Christmas Eve, it will be under the tree from Elf on the Shelf. And it's Elf on the Shelf, this is our second year doing it. And it's kind of his goodbye present, see you next year. Where does he hang out that day? He hangs out that day. Anyway, this is under the tree for Christmas Eve with the intent of, as the year goes by, Christmas Eve we build this. With the intent of all the other villages being built, which they are not right now. but. So is life. So I need to wrap this today. I'm also wrapping everything. I need to organize. It was just bags of stuff and I just needed to lay it out. So I don't remember the exact cost of the Legos. I'll put it up here, but I'm pretty sure it was like $99. And I get that from lego.com. I think Target does have some of the stuff, but I just go right to lego.com. Okay, so let's see if I can do this without making you nauseous. Here is all of Paul's presents that I need to wrap. Up to here, these are all Tilly's presents that I need to wrap. And then these are stocking stuff, which I will show you everything. Thing that I got. Okay, so here's everything for Paul. I said the Amazon tra train table was $150, I believe. I said that already. This I got at Costco. This is, I got each kid a book set. This one is Waldo. Well, Paul was really into Waldo. He, his sister broke his Waldo book. It was $27.99. It was not on sale at Costco. They had a whole bunch of book sets, but it has six Waldo books in here. I don't know if you see that or not. There's six different Waldo books in here. They do appear to be paperback, but that's fine. So Paul will really enjoy that. This is probably a little too old for Paul at the moment, but this is Educational Insights, the Geo Safari Talking Microscope. I don't know if he's gonna know that it talks, but we'll try um, just, you know, with the, it has slides and buttons and all sorts of cool things. 60 images, 100 facts and quizzes. This looked really sweet. It was a really good Black Friday deal. I can't remember the original price, but this I paid $26.99 for. And I was hesitant about this one because Love Every, which we have a subscription, does have a microscope, but this looked like it did a couple little different things. I also got Paul this little camera. This is a children's digital camera X2. 
It's recommended for three plus years. It's by, oh gosh, Delanto. This one is in the color blue and it was $23.99. I'm so curious to see what Paul, as pretty much a four-year-old, take, would take pictures of. And they had, I guess, four different colors here. It looks like they have a pink, a light blue, a dark blue, and a purple. Then I got Paul this walkie-talkie set by Flashing, I believe. And they did have a single walkie-talkie, two walkie-talkies. Did they have a single walkie-talkie? Maybe they didn't. They had a two and a three pack, and I can't remember why, but Matt suggested that we get the three pack. Maybe in case one breaks or gets lost or something. My husband has walkie-talkies around the house, and Paul was very interested in what they were, so I ran this by Matt because I don't know anything about walkie-talkies. He said this was a decent one for little kids, and it comes in the three colors, pink, yellow, and blue. That's pretty much all I can tell you about a walkie-talkie for kids, but this is $22.09. I saw this at Target and I was like, I have to get this for Paul. Paul is shares my obsession with Jack Skeleton and basically anything Tim Burton. I love Tim Burton. So this was from Target. It is a character cloud pillow and throw set. I don't know if they went on sale, but I snagged this as soon as I saw it. I think we saw it in November and I went and bought it online because I knew he would like it. And it's Jack Skeleton, and then there is a throw that just has a bunch of Jack Skeleton heads on it. I didn't buy it on sale. I don't know if this was on sale for Black Friday. It might have been. It was $17.99. Paul has been talking and asking about a watch, and we are Bluey fans in this house. So I found this at Target, and it was actually a lot cheaper on Amazon. I can't remember the price difference. Target is doing price matching in case you didn't catch that and you bought something at Target, you found it cheaper elsewhere, bring it to customer service and they'll price match. This is by VTEC. They have a lot of educational electronic stuff. Not super keen on the electronic. I just like to keep it down. Obviously I can't minimize it because this is the world we live in. But this is the Bluey watch and it was $12.09 recommended for three to six year olds. And I think it's like, if you can see that, it's like analog. It's nothing fancy. I think. Bluey flips up and it has the time and a little light. And I thought he would find that really cute. So we got that for Paul. It's so funny. Are you, how many of you remember these? I totally had one and I ordered it on Amazon or Target, I can't remember. And it came and it was so small. I was expecting it to be just a lot more to it. But if you don't know what Spirograph is, it's this like ring stencil, stencil, I don't know why I said it like that, a ring stencil and then you have these other little circle ones that are like gears that fit in the ring and you put a pen and you just start drawing and it makes all these like really cool patterns. And then there's the long one too that you can do little designs. I feel like all these toys from the 80s, 90s are making such a comeback and this was one I definitely had and I just thought it was really fun, arts and craftsy. And it includes 15 pieces. I don't know if I'm gonna be giving Paul the pen. We shall see. I might give him something else I already have. And this was $9.99. Melissa and Doug just had like crazy Black Friday deals. They always do. So this is the floor puzzle. The puzzle pieces are pretty big and chunky, which is good for Paul's age. He is three approaching four years old and he has the firefighter one from last year. And it just goes into our regular toy rotation. I keep it in the box for now. Um, might end up putting them in like zippy bags later because the boxes do take up a lot of room in my toy rotation bin system. But this is a 24 piece floor puzzle and this one is dino themed and it was $7.99. I feel like I keep going very retro, but somewhere I was just like, I feel like Paul will enjoy this. And this is just an old school metal slinky. And we do have staircases here, so I'm, su I'm sure I'm gonna show him exactly how to do it. It does say five plus, so I mean, I guess I'll just make sure he doesn't pinch his fingers in it. I'm not sure why it's five versus, I feel like a three-year-old can handle a metal slinky. I found this at Target, it was $3.99. I was gonna throw this in his stocking, but I figured this is a good wrappable item. And then I didn't log this, but I had got the kids both Target related toys earlier. So this one is a goodness to give a Bullseye and Friends pop-up adventure book. It, I mean, I don't know how long this is gonna last. Tilly is my little destroyer. I'm sure she's going to destroy this right away. So technically Paul has 11 things, but it's fine because I have more toys in their stockings. And at this point they're too little to do a count. I know me and my sisters used to do that. We used to be like, she has this amount of presents, mine doesn't. So 
We shall see how this goes. Okay, so on to Tilly. These had really good sales, the Crayola packs, and they had a whole bunch of different kinds. This one, they did have like a glow board, I think, and I was thinking about getting that for Paul, but I didn't, so that might be a birthday present. Paul has a January birthday, and um, there was something else big that I wanted to get him for his birthday, and I didn't because he wanted the train table. The train table was an addition last minute. I had ideas going for both kids like since the summer. So this was the Crayola touchpad. It was $26.99. I think they did end up going more on sale at Target, but it's just like a, a thing you touch. I think it makes noise. I don't know if we're putting in the batteries for the noise or if I could turn that off, that would be great. Looks like it needs three AA batteries and it has 12 colored lights and songs. So I thought Tilly would really enjoy this. Paul had the Waldo book set and Tilly had the Bluey book set. This is from Costco, was not on sale, $24.99. It is heavy. And we really don't have any, we have a couple Bluey books and really all the books are, I, don't, I can't speak to these obviously because I didn't open it, but the books we do have are just screenshots of the show and some of them are just like narrated from the show. It's nothing original. So I just thought I would throw that out there. I thought it was microscopically disappointing, but my kids still liked it. And these all look to me like bluey episodes. So I have a feeling it's just the episode in book form, but my kids still absolutely freaking love it. So $24.99, I don't know if I said that for, how many books are in here? Six books and a poster. So this is the brand of the dollhouse, this H-A-P-E. And this was a doll set. They did have a couple other things. They had, I think, pets, a little dog, doghouse, kitty, and a bowl, and a couple other little things. Matt thought that these were super creepy, but I was just like, you know, whatever. It's, if I'm going with the route of less plastic things, or at least plastic as possible, so a lot of these natural made things can be a little creepy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So I got the dolls. I can't flip it over to the other side because Amazon literally shipped it to me in this box and the shipping label's there. I tried to take it off and it was just not working. So this is a set of six dolls and this was $21.95. I don't think this was on sale. It was just, I got it because it went with the dollhouse. This I thought was kind of Montessori and with my kids at this stage, I think I said this before, Tilly is turning two in March and Paul is turning four in January. A lot of these toys are just gonna be shared. That's just how they work. They, they're not really into like, this is mine. I mean, they are when they're playing with it, but they all kind of play with each other's. This was called a switchboard. It came with this, a little itty bitty screwdriver. I don't know if you can see that. And you put, this is what Matt's gonna be doing all morning. Oh, right here. So this part comes off and there's batteries that you put in it. I apologize, I don't have batteries in it right now. And it has, all kinds of lights and things and there are different types of switches tilly will be all about this little toggle switches and then all these lights light up and there are some keys and a string there's a little lock there this thing moves all sorts of things another switch so these are the kind of things that i like to get for my kiddos kind of stem i guess I, would, I don't know if this is really considered Montessori. STEM type of a thing. So this is called a festive light switch board and this was $19.99. I got this little wooden maze. Do you remember these? I had something similar like this. It was plastic when I was a kid, but it is a board niched out and there's like some kind of plastic on top so it can't and there's these little balls and like a little a little magnetic pen and you can move these balls around because the balls are magnet through this thing. Looks like a great thing for the car too. This was $16.78. In addition to Bluey, Tilly absolutely loves Mickey and Minnie and Melissa and Doug had this really sweet little, I would call this almost like an introduction to paper dolls. It's a wooden, it's, I, also I was just gonna say, I thought this was so much bigger and then it came, it was the size, that was funny, but it's just fine. 18 mix and match pieces, they're wooden pieces and you can just, I don't know if you can tell, but her like pants, her arms, her shirt, and her head are all little separate pieces. And you can mix them up into little outfits. And it looks like it's mini, just mini. This was $12.99. I got her this Melissa and Doug, let me tell you the price, $9.99. Little jewelry box. It is intended for a older child because you can decorate it. There's like a glitter pen, ugh, gems and stickers and whatnot, but it's already kind of decorated. Tilly has a little, a couple things of jewelry, so I'm going to hide the decorating thing away for now. We can do that later when she gets older, but I was more, I thought she'd enjoy this jewelry box, so I got her that, and it does have a little hinge. There is, it does look like there's a little tray inside. No ballerina, 
I don't even know where you get those anymore. Do you remember those? You open up, makes noise. My sister had one. I always used to try to play with it. This is, do you know what this is? <laughs> I told Matt that I found this online and he was like, that better not make noise. This is Chatterbox from Bluey. It's a toy that Bluey has that makes so much noise, but this doesn't make any noise. It's just a little stuffy and it was $6.99. Tilly loves stuffed animals. I don't know if they'll know who this is right away. We'll have to see on Christmas morning. And I guess I lied. I have 11 presents for both kids now. I'm looking at it it's in the bottom corner. This one, I know, do you remember these from when we were a kid? I love how all of our, our retro toys are coming back. A view master. I mean, I didn't know what it was called. I would be like, that thing you looked into and it has the little slides. But this was $6.48. And then I got her, I got Paul that Target book and I got Tilly the little Target bullseye stuffy. But I thought that was really sweet and she loves stuffed animals. Okay, so here is all my stocking stuffer stuff and I do not have price tags, but I just thought I would show it to you because I like to look at people's stocking stuffers that are not just candy. And I think I did pretty well. I don't have that much candy. So let's just start with both of them. This is something I found on Amazon. These are gonna be so small. These aqua rings, get this thing to focus here. Do you remember these as a kid? This is just one of those like cheap, I don't know, cheap toys. I, I don't have high hopes that this will last very long, but there's two of them in here. And you can tell by my hand, this is not very large. So they're probably about that big, perfect stocking stuffer size. So I got each of those, one of those. And then Paul had mentioned something about, I hope there's candy canes in my stocking. And I was like, oh boy. I was just about to do another Thrive order, a very small one, I didn't end up filming it. So I got the Thrive brand organic candy canes. They're peppermint flavor made with ethically sourced candy or ethically sourced cane sugar. There's 10 of them in here. I'm probably only gonna put one candy cane in each stocking and just let them have at it. Candy canes list forever. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of them. We shall see. Side note, I've been testing chocolate sourdough bread and I thought candy canes might be interesting in there. We'll see. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Um, Tilly, again, some of the stuff they'll probably end up sharing. This came yesterday. My kids were talking about how they wanted, they were trying to find a cell phone. I made them one out of cardboard and they were not happy with it. So Mushy, I have their little palette. It came actually with my diapers. These are like popples and it looks like a cell phone. So I thought that was cute. So I got this one. I was just gonna say, I feel like it's like BPA free plastic. I'm not quite sure. But a little popple that looks like a cell phone. I kind of forgot that I got her this from Target too. This is a Christmas tree bubble popper. It's these things, my kids love these things. They just pop out, I don't even know how you describe it. So I got this one for Tilly. I'll probably just take it out of this cardboard and just throw it in the stocking. I got an old school kaleidoscope. And do you remember these? I so remember this one. This one is actually aluminum or some kind of metal. And I'm sure that they will share this, but I got that in Tilly's stocking. I also picked this up forever ago. This is the Cat and Jack jewelry. She has a couple of these sets. And this is a necklace and bracelet set. So sweet. She has another one. I think it's just unicorns. She picked it out. Uh, this one is technically supposed to be Christmas themed, but she can wear it that day. And it has a little like bow tie gem. So stinking cute. I got her, this was in just like the stocking stuffer section. And a lot of people were getting these, this rainbow fidget. It was in the dollar spot, actually, I take that back. And I don't know, they just kind of keep moving around. Great thing for the car too. I don't know how you describe that. Just another one of those weird fidgety things. I got this plastic candy cane. They, I like to get the ones with bigger candies. I don't do M&Ms with my kids right now. Rarely do they have M&Ms. I think that I got him maybe that one last year, I can't remember, but these I can just be like, okay, we'll just have one and put it away kind of a deal. So I got them the Reese's peanut butter cups because I'm okay with them having those. We went through a goldfish phase where they were absolutely obsessed and now they want nothing to do with them. And of course that was just recent. So I got them some goldfish crackers. Who knows? It's in a little cool little container. They might eat those. Just another non-candy option. I like to do band-aids. We haven't been going through band-aids that fast recently, but that's okay. It can never hurt to have them on hand. And I found these. They were bluey and I got these at Target. So they are two little bluey designs it looks like and they're two different sizes and there's 20 band-aids in here so I got one of those for Paul and one of those for Till. I got Tilly her toothbrushes here these are Colgate they're like my first toothbrushes kind of a thing and I got her a two-pack. 
I realized last night I forgot to get Paul's. I'm getting Paul's. It's coming soon. It'll come before Christmas. It's a Colgate little electronic toothbrush and it's bluey. So he will get a new toothbrush as well. And then here's Paul's and I don't know what I was thinking. I hope this fits in his stocking. He loves these Hot Wheels. So I got him a five pack of Hot Wheels. This definitely will. And then I got him this Target cart cart and target tractor trailer. I probably end up having to fold this, put that in his stocking. Oh, I did get him toothbrushes. Oh, that's right, he'll get two. So these Firefly ones, Paul really enjoyed. They come in a bunch of different colors. I've seen them at Target before and they flash for one minute with the theory that you stop brushing when they stop flashing. And they do have suction cups on the bottom so you can suction cup to the sink so they dry. I got Paul, the same goldfish that I got Tilly. I got Paul, the same Reese's candy cane, for lack of a better term, the same one as Tilly. I also got him the bluey band-aids, the same as Tilly. I got this at Cabela's. They had a bunch of stocking stuffer stuff out and I thought this is cool. It's called Jacob's Ladder. I don't know, it's just some kind of little toy. I had one of these when I was growing up. There's like ribbon and somehow they stay together. I don't know how to explain it. If you know, you know. It was just some cute little wooden toy I thought would be great in their stocking. This is Holly Jolly Go Fish, a little card game. It didn't really say what it was, but it was three plus. Paul is starting to get into little board games and whatnot. And then Paul loves our mail truck. She actually has a van, but this is a die cast model of a mail truck. And we have all sorts of trucks, but we do not have the United States postal truck. So I got him that one just recently. And that is everything for his stocking. Okay, so this is my setup for this year. I'm doing it in the kitchen. I love how I just leave my drawer open. But I just wanted to show you these things that I got this year. They are called Wrap Buddies and they are amazing. Absolutely amazing. So they clamp down onto your countertop. They're not that hard. They do have something for tape. However, the tape I have doesn't fit in there. So, you know, cool. It's fine. I'll use my other tape. And then you just clamp the other side. And this is a massive Costco double roll wrapping paper and it fits the big ones and the small ones. So what I usually do is I wrap the kids presents. I only use this paper and I wrap one kid in this color and one kid in this color. And I hope that I don't run out. I don't think I will. I've had this the same paper for years. I'm going to go ahead and wrap everybody so I can go back and hide it in my room. And I do intend to put ribbon and bows on some of them, I think. Maybe a lot of bows. I got all these bows from Costco, so I'm gonna do that. But they're gonna fall off, so I will do that when I put them under the tree on Christmas Eve. And I'm going to wrap them, and I have these big bags from, I think this is from Cabela's, that I'm going to put them in and then hide them back in my office. And then here's the other setup I have. This is full of gift bags that I need to get rid of. Does anybody else have like a ton of gift bags? I, I couldn't even tell you the last time I bought a Christmas gift bag. I get so many. Oh, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new just so I don't forget, this is my system for remembering. No, you could do gift tags. I'm just too lazy. I did see people on Amazon, Amazon is Instagram. You can buy now labels. Sorry, this song is horrible. You can buy now labels that are like from the North Pole to your kid's name. I think that's really sweet. I did see a couple and they were kind of pricey. I was like, I bet I could just make my own of those labels instead of rewriting the same name to your kid each time. Or I don't know if you do, all of our presents are from Santa at this point, but I know some people do presents from parents and things like that. We did sibling gift exchange last night. Each kid, we took them to the store and they got each other something kind of, Paul, it was, you know, guided them towards something and they give it to our siblings. But I just take a scrap of paper from each side. So the green was Paul and then the red is gonna be Tilly, which is a pain because you're gonna pull it off the roll and it's gonna to wanna to curl up, but you know, whatever. And at this point, cause my kids don't, they're little, I just put this on my refrigerator as a reminder. This drives my husband insane. He's like, this is so disorganized. And then for him, I use labels cause I used up like three rolls of Dollar Tree wrapping paper when I was wrapping my husband. And then I have 
uh, Lego gift set, which I will write on like from the elf so I know that that's the Lego gift set. And then I have to wrap uh, some presents for one of my favorite besties little kiddos. And I will, I will put labels on those. But I, I just find the labels annoying personally. I was just curious, what do you guys do? What is your system? But I'm going to quickly rage wrap Tilly's because it's 2.30. Tilly usually always wakes up a little before three and I'm gonna try to shove these in that bag and get them in my office out of their hands. I don't care if they see me wrap my friend's gifts, but I do have to wrap those Legos. I do not want Paul to see those, he'll know. So that is the plan really fast. I also have coffee and I have Christmas music going very quietly in the background. Baby, this here is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Tilly's awake. I clearly cannot wrap now, so I'm going to quick hide everything and I'm gonna have to wrap things later at night, I'm probably gonna have to move this next year to nighttime, not during nap time, because apparently I ran out of time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Happy holidays. Check me out on Instagram. I'll see you next one. Bye. Don't even care what we do if I spend it with you.